What if someone roofies you and then forces you to have sex with someone? If you were in a threesome, would you get competitive? What y'all know about that? <laughs> what y'all know? I see you do. I see you do this all night. Welcome back, everybody, to another rendition of the Amateur Hour Reacts. Matthew, what are we reacting to today? We're going to react to some funny moments from uh, our boy, Theo. Now, for the people that don't know who Theo Vaughn is, mm -hmm. do you want to give a brief explanation as to what we're getting into? Yeah, he's a comedian. Also has a podcast. Uh-huh. Nice guy. Never met him. Just a good old airhead. Yeah, you know? He's, so, just, he's just got a way, way with words, for sure. That That's all there, there is to say about him. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, please join us on watching Theo Vaughn's Funniest Moments. This is Theo Vaughn, everybody. Oh, dude, a couple black yeah. dudes called me the N-word a couple months ago, dude, and it was like... That, that's you, that's that you. kind of brightens your day a little. <laughs> I felt, you know... I was like, you promise? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Thank you, guys. I like, say it again. Yo, Shane Gillis is He's so cool. cool dude. Guys, dude. Yeah. We like it. I remember when I was young, somebody was throwing rock. Me and my buddy were fishing. It was a black friend of mine who's, I think, in jail for murder now, man, my friend Devin. But he, um, my friend Devin, he, uh, <laughs> were fishing in some white, some racist white dude or some, somebody racist who looked white from where we were was up on these train tracks and starts throwing rocks at us. Really? And yelling the N word, right? And so I jump out and I'm like, not me, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> at least I could. Yeah, don't get me. <laughs> yeah, You're getting the wrong crazy. guy. You're going to hit me with a rock. You yeah. look like a guy that should be uh, much like guy. whiter than you are. I don't are. like this guy at and all. You, and you know that. And you know that. Yeah, boy. Wait, yeah. What's the deal? Are you outside a lot? Ooh, huh? Are you outside I'm a lot? I'm inside, man. Yeah. But I'm, you know, I'm, uh, part of my family's from Nicaragua, bro. And no. that's not a racial story. Yeah, my father's from Nicaragua. What? Yeah, Nicaragua, bro. Wow. Where my Nick Gar's at, huh? Well... <laughs> <laughs> a little too close. But okay. Yeah. <laughs> right, so, yeah. And hopefully the audio is clear on that. Yeah, it so is. People it's know. okay. Oh, okay. I, I got your back. <laughs> okay. There's a C in there. <laughs> okay. Good. Wow. Jeez. Where'd you guys go to college at? Syracuse? No, we went to Syracuse Community College. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it was an Ivy League community college. Oh, yeah. So it was a, one of the best community colleges ever. I went to a Poison Ivy League school. You did? Yeah. Poison oh, Ivy? Fucking itching to get out of there. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> I just didn't do it. Hit me with the birth name. Uh, Cause I read this and I was like, I can't even say it. My name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Theodore Capitani von Kurtatowski. <laughs> so that's that's name, crazy. Dude. Oh, they used to call me the N word all the time in Louisiana. What? So, what? Which word is that? Huh? Huh? <laughs> I mean, you can pick one, but it's uh, just because anything that gets a little too many, you know, anything that gets a little wild, they yeah. used to drop the N bomb. What? On. Oh my God. <laughs> I was going to pause it and say that he was going to give you a run for your money on weird names, but then that, that the, the spiel just kept going. <laughs> no, what was his name? Do you remember it? The Theodore Nicaragua. <laughs> The That's third. not his name. The, I, don't, I don't know, bro. That's I don't, not his I don't, I don't, name. Did you remember his name? No, it was like Theodore, Theodore. Capavelli Von. There was an end there somewhere, yeah. It was Skomanowski. Yes. I, lived, yeah. I was sleeping under a buddy of mine had a bed, and I was sleeping under his bed for $150 a month. Oh, wow. And sometimes even in his bed sometimes. <sighs> Where was he, in we California? out of town, and yeah. we would leave for work. I'd climb up into his bed, dude. <laughs> and I've never been heavily homosexual, but I will say this that there's nothing really gayer than getting into a man's warmth after he's already left the room, you know, and climbing up into his bed. Uh, man, you know I, 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 I beg to differ. Do you, do you want to know what I think is so, a slightly gayer than that? What? Sitting in a in, um, uh, grown man's warmth after he's used the toilet. Uh, I'm talking ghost cheeks, Matthew. Uh, Does it get gayer than that? That might be gayer than having sex with a man. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow. Somehow. <laughs> Somehow. Yeah. Very yeah. valid points. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah. You know that much? Am I still catching that hit off of his temperature, you know? <laughs> That's funny. It's true, man. Yeah. You go over to somebody's house, dude, who you don't know that much, yeah. and when they leave the room and get the get, get out of their bed, you get into their bed. That should make so, a It's so intimate, that, bro. That make a it's man so out intimate. Of fast, yeah. dude, or it won't. But you find out who's who pretty quick when you're doing stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. And I was doing stuff like that. I do remember the first time this, like the first girl that came back with a rack after summer. We all know someone that looks like this, by the way. Even his skits, we yeah. know someone. We like all that. know somebody like that. And I just think it's so funny. I was like, God, that was big. That was like when they build a new like Tesla charger station in town. You're like, everybody knew about it. 
Oh, this girl yeah. Jamie, she showed up in sixth grade and she was racked out. And like, it was a talk. <laughs> the, the teacher was just like trying to talk about like long division. We're like, fuck all this. Have you seen the C cups? Yeah. Fuck all this. Even the teacher was like, God damn. Yeah. Have you it seen was, the square root was, of them fucking, <laughs> of those fucking long nuggets? D yeah. squared. Yeah. <laughs> how much can, how big can tits be on a, and I don't want to say on a child because we've said this kind of stuff before. And but this is what we're looking up. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Now, <laughs> he, he could, that, that's a solid question. <laughs> it's it's a question that I, I don't think needs an answer. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> I don't think the world needs an answer to that. It's a question yeah. for sure. I've never thought about that until this very moment. <laughs> it's just not a question that needs answer. Is there a limit? That's just that's just that's just a question. Uh, Is there a limit? <laughs> You're asking the wrong person. <laughs> Uh, I have no idea. Yeah, it was We're gonna start crazy. it up. Yeah, that tunnel was crazy, man. I remember we went to uh, this thing called Beta Breakers a while back there, and it was like this. It was a race, I guess, where people start, I guess, at the bay, and then they run like the bridge or something. Yep. Well, we did a bunch of mushrooms, and we didn't. Uh, I don't know. We weren't really in the race or anything. But at one point, we took over a. A table somebody had a table where they had all the cups of water and we took it over right in the middle and i'm just just flying on mushrooms at this point dude i'm you know i'm looking you know the lord's looking for me you know and i'm looking for him you yeah know, i just got to run that afternoon but uh and people were running by in this race you know it's tens of thousands of people in this race and when they get close someone would would try to get the water and we'd be like no it's for asian people only <laughs> So you had so many people, and they're running. They have to keep going. There's t there's a huge flow of people. They can't argue or discuss it. Right, right, right. Hella fucked up. Like, uh, oh, Asians only. And they're like, <laughs> and they just keep on like, moving. Hella up fucked up. Dehydration yeah. a quarter mile down the road. <laughs> All these Irish people Wild stacking up. up at the curb at the next turn, just from yeah. boom. And all oh, Asian people were just so happy, Super bro. Super oh, Yeah, just flying, bro. So you had, and, and I remember that dude, for 50 cents, he'd let you see his wiener. Or... He would just show you his wiener for no money. So he wasn't like the best business. <laughs> okay, you're you're walking down an alley. How okay. much, how, what is the amount of money that you're going to pop it out for? Me pop it out? Like yeah, someone yes. give me money? Yeah. If someone came up to me and was like, I got five bucks, show me. Like you're you're paying for disappointment, you know? Hey man, so, some people some people like a, a bad show. You're paying for disappointment. It's like being a fucking Charlotte Hornets season ticket holder. Like I don't know, you know, you're, <laughs> you're being paid to be let down, or you're paying to be let down, you know, <laughs> man. But but you had to see a little bit of wiener if you wanted to get past that second row of seats, right? What the fuck? And is that this? you know that's just what it was like on the school bus. <laughs> hey Theo, Theo. I, okay, look. Can you? We gonna role play, all right? That just took you, my that girl. Just took a and you just gonna break up with me? Oh shit! Just break right. up with me, all right? Just break up with you? Yeah. Can I? I'm just asking. Can I use the N word or not? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I, I, no, I, say, I, would I mean, the, hey, Theo. I don't care. But when we step out of here, I can't help you. Though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But you, use it at your discretion. Okay. That's a question you'd ask. Whatever you want. You ask, yeah. Hey, Ellis. Hey. <laughs> hey, what's up, baby? What's going on? You know what the fuck's up, boo. <laughs> My little. <laughs> baby. How did he say it without saying it? How did he do that? What the? Theo's a special kind, man. He's a special breed. Why are you censoring the word nigga? You know you saying nigga. That was a call came in. I ain't censoring shit. I know you've been out there with Mr. Joe petting them fucking white animals. What? What the? What? Baby, what? I know you've been out there with Papa Joe petting them little fucking honky muppets. <laughs> Shonda, you crazy, baby. Look, um, not as crazy as your homeless ass is. I'm out this relationship, my. Yeah. 
you check any Native American's car, you always find gin and he hung that thing up. femurs or something. You know, they love, yeah. they keep the dead with them a lot of times. I almost knocked this, unfortunately, almost knocked this young lady up that was from South Dakota. And she yeah. lived on a reservation, yeah. Oh. And she like threatened to have the baby. Oh, um, damn. How old were you? 37 this year. <laughs> <laughs> it was this year. And she wouldn't even be the 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 gall on her Matthew oh, how the dare gall. She, how <laughs> dare she that's crazy using a baby as a threat it happens a lot more than you think I personally never done that <laughs> oh okay she wouldn't she threatened to have the baby dude and I just <laughs> met her at a motel <laughs> <laughs> and she threatened to have a baby man and I had found some nudie magazines Titty literature. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Titty literature, baby. You know? Titty and, literature. Uh, and I found them on the top level of my brother's closet. And, dude, I got out there. And at the same time, I found a little bit of Alizé liquor. <laughs> and that shit was peach, peach flavored or something. It was the top level of my brother's closet. And they had some nudie magazine and some liquor. And I'd never had ne'er one of them, bro. And I crack open one, and I crack open the other. And next thing you know, I'm, you know, okay. touching myself to the magazine and sipping on the liquor. And then I'm sipping on, I, at one point, I'm sipping on the magazine, dude. I'm trying to pull the titties into my mouth, and I'm touching the bottle. And I'm, I'm just, touching the bottle, and I'm touching the bottle. <laughs> I'm sipping yeah. the magazine. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just stroking the bottle. Oh, I'm just stroking the hell out of that bottle, <laughs> rubbing the oh, shit damn, out of that. Confused. And then at one point, I blacked out and fell off that shelving unit. Oh, he was on and the shelf. Like damn, yeah. <laughs> I fell off the <laughs> child. I landed a man, baby, and I was blacked out, unconscious, erect, and had liquor, uh, peach liquor, on my breath. Leo is the definition of you entertaining every thought that you ever have. Yeah, he's every intrusive. He's a, a walking intrusive thought. Yes, honestly. If you had to pick one person to be the ambassador <laughs> That's a for the huge human race right to there. meet aliens, who would it be? Ooh, this is good. I'd probably pick... Um, probably a Filipino, dude. I'm really infatuated by Filipinos. They're happy. They're joyous. You know, they call them the smiling people somewhere on the internet. Yeah. And, um, Fuck you up, though. And every Filipino I meet, they're real gracious. They do a lot of senior care centers, hospice. And who else are you going to send out there, dude? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what if we go the opposite route? Who is the most aggressive group of people that you would send out to battle the aliens? To be an ambassador to aliens? Oh, is that the question? Yeah, to be an uh, ambassador. Like, uh, so uh, making first contact. I thought being you, the communication they like between. Battle. No. Who would you pick one person to be an ambassador to the aliens? Really, like, you got one person on the earth. Who are you picking? Lana Rhodes. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> actually, that might work. Actually, that might work. They might actually. She can probably take on all of them. She could probably get us. Get, we can get our hands on some, some space age technology pretty quickly, I think. <laughs> I think she has the means to convince them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Damn, that beats mine. What is yours? Um, I, I was going to send Lil Wayne, you know? What is he going to do? He he just he's an alien as well. I think there's a good little you know. I think there's <laughs> I think there's a good bridge there that we can you know. <laughs> what he convinced her because she did a bit about on stage about having a threesome. Mm -hmm. So afterwards, Mike Burton goes, "Hey, would you have one with me and Bob?" She's like, "Okay." We go to the hotel room, right? Wow. And are you nervous? Would you have a threesome with Bob? Nah. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I couldn't believe it. Right. What if he got roofied? Well, then I got roofied. I don't have a choice. Like, um, that's a that's a question for drug Matt. I'm, could you, could could you participate in a threesome whilst roofied? Is that a possibility? Like, do I don't you, I don't know enough do, about roofies. Do you have control over like? Can you? Oh, I don't. Maybe not. What if? Okay. What if someone roofies you and then forces you? To have sex with somebody like like they, they they thrust you. That's more like what if like, you're unconscious? Yeah, and I have like someone's like forcing you, forcing you to penetrate. That's still sexual assault. Oh yeah, yeah. That's not the question here. 
No, on the person forcing you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. It, I don't think it's considered grape. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what your question is. What's your question? Uh, Nomura is less a statement. Couldn't but, believe what? That he would include me. And y'all are the same height. <laughs> I know, it's cute. Yeah, it is very We're a cute affair. And but I see him being like aggressive and wanting to win the threesome. There's always that's that what I can do. I, and you know what? I'm happy to be that guy. Yeah, to be like on the outside. If you were in a threesome, would you get com- competitive? Yeah, yeah. If, okay, so in this scenario, that I like, I, like, uh, yeah, I'd get competitive. Yeah, with, it's like it's like a double date, right? It's 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 a it's um, it's uh. It's Let's a, say we're in a threesome. It's man. a two v. It's a two v. It's a two v one, and I'm gonna put the most damage. I'm going to crack shield. I'm going to down them. Is it a 2v1? I'm going to finish them. It's a 2v1. Well, yeah, yeah, they're down. Yeah. Quite literally. It's going to down them. Yeah. And then loot their box. Okay. Yeah. Take Which their, one? Swap their shield. Yeah. Yeah. And then move so, on to the so, next. So what if you're mid threesome and you see a guy b- crank out a move that you've never seen before? Are you going to attempt to do that immediately? How do you one-up that? Nah, you, in the middle, you just be like, <laughs> oh, that move? I don't, I, don't, uh, I don't like that one. I don't like that one that much. I know about that one. But check this one out. But check this one out. <laughs> what y'all know about that? What y'all know? I ain't seen you do. I ain't seen you do this all night. Look, I, I can do it. I can do it with my ass closed. You watching this? You watching this? You, <laughs> you see this? You see this girl? He, he ain't done the tornado hips. Shit. That's what I'm saying. See, I start getting competitive. I start making up shit now. Yeah. Yeah. You 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 get in that Kobe mentality. In that black. Yeah. At the end of the match, I'm having the most damage. To lose a threesome, what do you mean? Like to do it, but also like I don't need to come in first place. There's always the dude that needs to come in first. Uh, no, I, I second for sure. Yeah, I'm like the tag team guy. Yeah, yeah. right. You go do your thing. Yeah, right. There's so the hero. The then you come in and take a couple body slams. You be the head then... chef, right? You be the head chef. I'll be do. I'll do desserts. <laughs> right. yeah, that's what. That's my thing. Yeah, right. Yeah. So he's. We get naked. Uh huh. And they both just start cackling. Oh wow! With laughter when they see my body. Oh. But I'm laughing too, right? But I did it anyway, but the whole time. Why? You'd never, you'd seen your body before. They've never seen my body though. Right, but what are you laughing at? Because they're <laughs> laughing at my body. Oh, okay. <laughs> they're laughing so hard, it makes me want to laugh. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> you seen your body before. <laughs> he was genuinely confused. Matthew, that was Theo Vaughn's funniest moments do you have any final thoughts on um, what we just watched no i love i love the that man's an idiot yeah but a lovable one yeah for sure for sure it's like he has cracked the code of not only comedic genius but man cannot get canceled there's just some people like that man i don't know i don't know what it is there's some people immune to i mean i'm sure he could but yeah he has a free pass to i mean if he like raped somebody obviously yeah yeah something like that depending how yeah yeah <laughs> depending how yeah. how gentle it was what you know about if, this? What if someone got his body in? And just <laughs> on the technicality. On the technicality, yeah. If, if he hits him with one of the, you know, it's over. But yeah, no, my, I, no, I love Theo. Um, I had a chance to see him in person, and I did not take it. So shout out to Paul. He saw him in the airport. Oh shit! Oh yeah, he did. He, he did. did. I forgot about that. Yeah, shout out. yeah. Shout out. But hell yeah, man. That was um. And the Paul next time I actually talked to him. I know. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on watching Theo Vaughn's Funniest Moments. We hope you enjoyed. And if you want more content of us, go ahead and click right there or there. I don't know where, 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 where it goes. If you want an extended version of us, we also have a podcast. Go check it out, the Amateur Hour Podcast. Again, thank you for watching, and we will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye. Yer. You're like a dream that's come true. I only wish you knew. You're all I waited for Christmas. Day.